We're really trying to create a future of a tobacco-free generation. Kate Silba and Anthony Ishak are the forces behind the now four-month-old law in Brookline, Massachusetts. And we would simply be forward-looking to prevent the development of new users of tobacco. To buy tobacco in town, all that matters is the day you were born. If you were born after January 1st, 2000, no tobacco for you, even if you're 21. Tobacco companies continuously try and change their product to gain new users. This is one way to stay ahead of it, is basically if we turn off the spigot in terms of obtaining new users. The law is already being challenged in court, not by tobacco companies, but a group called Six Brothers. It's a collection of gas station and market owners in town who sell tobacco. They argue Massachusetts state law supersedes and nullifies the town's law. So we just spoke with Fahad Iqbal inside of the gas station behind us. He is one of the brothers that is listed in the lawsuit. He did not want to talk to us on camera, but he says they plan on losing about 10 to 15 customers a day with this new law. He called it a sweet poison that will slowly kill their company over time. Well, I think the sweet poison is tobacco. Local tobacco laws have led to nationwide change before. One town away is Needham. In 2005, it was the first town in the country to raise the minimum age to buy tobacco from 18 to 21. And now it's the federal law. So what about for this law? Federal law, no. Uh, you know, we have to be realistic about what the legal landscape is. And there are states across the spectrum, North Carolina and Kentucky, who have very strong stakes in tobacco. Ishak says other towns have reached out just to see what the process was like and what the feedback has been like as well. He says he believes this could become a state law here in Massachusetts in the next few years.